Randy, it seems like every Monday we, when we get together, I'm just wore out because I, I don't no longer sit around the weekends. It's too nice to be outside, even though it was, it was slightly chilly. But get out there. Yep. Yeah, the weather is breaking in a good way, and uh, I don't have to wear a, a hat now. Well, I do, but it's because of the sun and not because, because I'm freezing my ears off. So that's a good thing. Hey, it's a Monday, folks. Thanks for popping in with us. We'll spend a few minutes together. My name is Randy Wooden. I'm the uh, director for our professional center of Goodwill Industries, Northwest North Carolina, right here in Winston-Salem. And we get together uh, once a week. I do with Teddy and share some stories, tips, and talk about our Wednesday guest. And we'll get to that in a minute. But first, Teddy, who are you and what are you doing here anyway? Well, you know, the, my parole officer said I got to be actively involved in community support, Randy. So, you know, t- mm-hmm. uh, what, two years ago, um, I, we, you and I signed up to do this and uh, we're working on what, week 107 now, I think, 106, 107. Good Something golly. like that, longer longer than a lot of television series last, actually. We're, uh, so we're doing. For those, those who've never met me, I, I'm Teddy Burris. I'm a LinkedIn strategist. I'm also a Google Workplace Consultant, teaching people how to use those two platforms as business tools. Mm-hmm. Uh, love creating content and articles and YouTube videos and answering questions on Quora and creating courses all about how to use that stuff as business tools. And it's a lot of fun, but a couple of times a week, Randy and I get together and we cut up and play around and we bring ideas. And every Wednesday, we'll talk about that in a minute, we have our special yep. guest conversation. So Randy, you're supposed to do some research, man. Did you do it? I did. Yes, uh, I did. I, I, and so, all right. So we always talk briefly birthdays and famous things that happened or infamous in some cases. So let me just share a line from a movie. And it's a line that I think we've all heard. We may not know the movie, but if I said this person is having a birthday and his famous movie line, among others, is say hello to my little friend. Say Not hello Daffy. to my little friend. Not Daffy Duck, right? Say hello to my little friend. As he sounds like a mobster thing, Randy. It is. Yeah, Al Pacino turns 82 today. So wow. 82? Yeah. That wow. Yeah. Remember, remember in The Godfather, you know, he's a young guy, right? So yeah. there's that. Now uh we have several things that happened on this date. I'm as you know, an old radio guy. And so Marconi, and his first name is like this long, begins with a G, but it's like really, really long. So we'll just call him Mr. Marconi. He was born on this date in 1874. He <clears throat> was kind of invented the radio, I guess, if you want to really kind of get down to it. So that was that going on. Here's a little trivia for you. Edward R. Morrow. Many folks have heard of him. Famous newscaster, one of the pioneers in the industry. He was born on this date in 1908. But did you know? that he was born in Guilford County. Ah, now for those who are not around the triad of North Carolina, the Guilford County is the Western part of the triad, sort of kind of like in the center of North Carolina. Okay. Oh, eastern uh, part. It's eastern, eastern part. part. Yeah, it's, it's basically, it's Greensboro. That, Greensboro. That's when you think yeah. Winston is for Scythe County. And then you've got Greensboro uh, there in High Point. Ella Fitzgerald on this date, 1917, famous singer. I thought about and, uh, her that's one. another birthday. I, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I said I was only going to do one birthday. Those are all birthdays, but the events, two things happened. One is the Hubble space telescope was placed into orbit uh, by the shuttle discovery in 1990 and the first solar battery hmm. by bell laboratories was put into play in 1954. Uh, well, it was that, that Hubble uh, uh, satellite thing is still looking at you and me. Uh, it has eyes on it, man. I'm sure it'll show up on the internet. It's only it was only six percent efficient, by the way. So things have increased greatly over the years. But yeah, so Pacino, Marconi, Murrow, and uh, Fitzgerald birthdays and a couple events. Got a quick story for you. This happened not long ago, and I guess the moral of the story is: be flexible, <clears throat> roll with the punches. Hmm. I was do I was asked to do a LinkedIn presentation to young folks, you know, talking high school young. So a lot of these guys haven't really been on LinkedIn, but they are aspiring to be professionals. So they were, they were in an all-day conference on professionalism. And my role was to talk about why LinkedIn is important, maybe give them some examples of some do's and don'ts, and just kind of get their feet wet a little bit as to how to proceed with LinkedIn. 
And Teddy, you know LinkedIn like the back of your hand and you could talk about it all day, but when you're trying to describe a visual thing, meaning LinkedIn, yeah. right? And the, uh, the setup that you have with your LinkedIn um, account uh, is projected on a very large monitor behind you and you're set to kind of point out things and walk through it. And then about two minutes before your time to start, the system goes down. Right row. Uh -uh. And there was no LinkedIn to show. <laughs> there was no LinkedIn to show anybody. And so here I am and standing in front of about 60 students and faculty members and, and so forth talking about LinkedIn with no LinkedIn to show them. You couldn't you couldn't do this, Randy. It's it's right here, guys. It's right here. <laughs> well, you know, I got my tap tap shoes and started tapping them, but I, I the it, and again it went fine. We talked in broad terms why it should matter and we didn't get into the weeds of how to do this and this because again they're not at that point yet but my point was in, in sharing it with you and the folks that are watching is you know stuff happens mm -hmm. things we 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 try to plan for um we try to you know prevent against we try to build in cushions in our life whether it's time money whatever but still sometimes things go off the rails a little bit and Something you've t said a long time ago that I've, I've remembered is that nobody died from networking. <laughs> and it's easy to be intimidated, scared, whatever. Here was a case where I'm in front of a, I'll call it a friendly audience, but they didn't know me. Yeah. And suddenly the main tool that I was going to use to show went away. Yeah. So what are you going to do? And you're able to muddle through it and it worked out fine. But it, just an example of saying, hey, you know what? Nobody's going to die from this. So let's make the best of it. And I think people are understanding too. And, and so it worked out fine. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Hey, you got me thinking, man. Be flexible yep. with the stuff we have to deal with. Yep. So here's a story. All right. Be flexible with the people you have to deal with. Here's, a, yeah. here's an example. So, you know, every now and then I work with people and, you know, we schedule our conversations and we try to schedule at least three or four weeks in advance. So everybody knows when to show up, you know, for, uh, for training and coaching and consulting. And then every now and then I run into people who like, oh man, we can't do it next week. Got to change. So we change it. Yeah. And then the next week, oh man, we can't do it this week. We got to change. And it used to frustrate me, Randy, but I've decided that I no longer get frustrated about that. It's called life. I can't control their schedule or how they manage their schedule. And if I can't control their schedule or how they manage their schedule, then why do I want to get all upset about it? And so, yeah. but, but there is a point, you know, at some point you've got to make sure that you're not so flexible where you're constantly saying yes to change when change is really not the best for you. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to play off your, be flexible with the, the technical stuff, but be flexible yeah. with the people but don't be so overly flexible that you get taken advantage of. And you know, yeah, good, you, you commit to a day and <laughs> Hey man, I, I set aside this day for you and you can't do next Wednesday. You just, you gotta, they've gotta be flexible with you. If they want you to be flexible with them. Is that how that works? Rubber bands go flexible both ways. Yeah. <clears throat> and the fact that, you know, they're, you know, I assume paying you for this. Uh, you immensely. Know, they, 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 they feel like they have a greater, uh, latitude in being able to change things with the work I do with goodwill, it's free. Yeah. And so if somebody wants to, to cancel, I'll offer to reschedule. But if, if they say, well, let, I'll get back to you, then I, I just leave them alone and I let them dictate. And half the time they don't, they don't bother to get back. They weren't really committed in the first place. Yeah, Again, they didn't pony up any money. <clears throat> but these guys are pulling up money. So they feel like they, they can pull the string a little. Hey, we've got a great, and she's a return guest coming up. Oh, Susan yeah, Rooks. Be fun. She's from Massachusetts and she's a pistol. She's great. If you, if you have not seen her on LinkedIn, Susan Rooks, R-O-O-K-S, the grammar goddess. Every day she puts out a little funny little uh, meme or whatever, but she is all about proper grammar, spelling, punctuation, all that stuff. And you know me, I love that. So she's going to talk about, wrote about about a month or two ago. That is the so fillers, crutches, that filler words, that kind of stuff. Things like, um, uh, uh, you know, like, and so forth. 
And so we're going to talk that with Susan Rooks coming up on Wednesday. That'll be on the 27th. You know, that's the last show of the month, Teddy, before we turn the uh, calendar. We've been to another one. We we work on month number five. May is just around the corner. So join us on Wednesday, 1155 for the grammar goddess, Susan Rooks. And uh, join us with uh, your comments and questions. And I'm sure everybody has one of those little pet peeve things that I don't know. Is this correct? Is this not right? And she'll hopefully have a good answer for you. If not, she'll make one up. <laughs> After you share your tip, I'll share my tip about, and it'll, it'll align with Susan very well. Okay. Well, my tip is, uh, I, you know, I was thinking about this the other day. I'm like, okay. Yeah. We talked LinkedIn tip. Is there a, like a life tip, you know, a life hack kind of tip. And I don't know why the Nike just do it logo popped in my mind. I guess all that advertising and marketing is sunk kind of sunk in a little bit but i'm going to do a takeoff on just do it and it's do it anyway Mm. do it anyway you don't have to go the extra mile to help a customer you don't have to volunteer your time here or there you don't have to send a thank you note you don't have to do a lot of things do it anyway yeah. It's not because you're going to get a, a cushier seat in the front row in heaven. Uh, it's, you know, you're not working. Nobody works their way to heaven. But and you're not going to get wealthier. It's, it, it's not you don't do it for the gain, the expectation of gain. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And the thing is, you never know. Just like when I was talking about that LinkedIn session with the high school students, you know, I, I was fine with anything. I'm easy. But you never know what were what your words or actions what impact they may have on somebody and if you just say well you know it's worthless it's not gonna it, why bother and no you just don't know so i would say do it anyway just yeah. go ahead and do it anyway and make it happen yeah i'm with you man i'm with yep. you give yep. give a little bit more than you have to give it'll pay you dividends down the road yeah who knows yeah even even if that's not the reason you should do it it you should do it because you should do it Exactly. Do it because you should do it. Yeah. Do it, Dad Gummit. Maybe that. Maybe that's the next way to phrase it. Just do it, Dad Gummit. For a snapper, I'll come out. I got a ruler. All right. Here's my tip. All right, Randy. I bet you know these people. I okay. bet you. I bet you. You who are watching this video know these people. These are mangers and pubic relations professionals. Manger and pubic relations professional. These are people who didn't slow down and check their spelling. And they're Those an people. HR manger or they're a project manger and they wanted, they wanted to be manager or they're, and I know a pubic relation, I know a couple pubic relations professionals who just did not slow down and check their spelling. So don't become that person making those kinds of mistakes slow down and check your spelling so you don't get embarrassed um, yeah you don't want to be on that on that list so no, the, the pubic relations yeah. a figure <laughs> a public relations professional making a, that type of grammatical mistake <laughs> yeah and you know, i see too i've i've seen other ones wh- whether it's president and they've left out a, a a vowel or just a number of things that you just kind of scratch your head a little bit just that reminds me real quick, and I'll, I'll let you go here. Uh, there is an ad in our Sunday paper. Every Sunday, it's in an insert in the Sunday paper. Yeah. And they spell the word servicing with two I's back to back. S-E-R-V-I-I-C-I-N. Or anyway, servicing, the I-N-G has two I's in it. Yeah. And it's been that way for years. And They've never, it. nobody said anything. And I thought about calling a company and saying, eh. But, you know, nobody has bothered to either tell them or they just don't care to change it. And it's a big ad. It's in every oh, Sunday. Boy. It's full color. And it's a, you can only imagine what they're spending on that thing. So yeah. anyway, Teddy, good to talk to you again. I'll Bye, catch buddy. you on Wednesday. You Susan Rooks, right? She'll be on. And she's the grammar goddess. Look her up on LinkedIn. Follow her. She loves to be followed. She's got a lot of great content. If you're about words and understanding grammar and so forth, she's the person you need to, to keep an eye on because she will steer you right. So. All right, buddy. I'll see you Wednesday, man. Have a good one. All right. Bye.